In fact, uh, ICT standards plays uh, an important role in globalization and in the effective development uh, of ICTs, and they are essential for creating a reliable, interoperable, and secure digital environment. However, and according to statistics, very few women participate in international standardization process. So, the now in ITOT plays an important role to promote women's engagement in ITOT activities by providing uh, them with a forum to uh, gather, share knowledge and support uh, each other. It uh, contributes also to the creation of more uh, inclusive uh, and uh, equal standardization process by giving women a voice and an opportunity to be heard. It contributes also to empower women by providing resources, mentorship and leadership development opportunities and to help them develop skills, confidence and network that are essential for professional and personal development. Besides, there is an increasing recognition globally to gender responsiveness in standards. It is essential as women are not currently as well served by standards as men. And our everyday life is full of examples that highlight this issue. So it is it is crucial for us to continue encouraging and increasing the involvement of women in the development of ICT uh, uh, standards uh, and uh, their active participation in the activities and the meetings of uh, the technical committees responsible of the discussions and uh, uh, the development of these standards uh, in order uh, to guarantee uh, that the standards uh, development process, process is gender inclusive and that uh, uh, the standards developed are gender responsive and consequently ensure equality, safety, accessibility, uh, economic benefits and social impact for all. Uh, regarding the future of the network and for this year 2024, I hope that the now for WTSA 24 campaign will achieve all its objectives mainly reaching 35% overall female participation at uh, WTSA and why not even more, having more gender balanced delegations and more women appointed as a head of delegations and uh, also having an increased number of nominated qualified women for key ITUT leadership positions. I hope that the networks events will give a larger visibility on the network's missions and activities and then attract more women experts to support its work, mainly at regional level. Additionally, I hope this network will achieve all its objectives and will succeed to contribute effectively in accelerating gender balance in all areas of ITOT's work committees and ensuring gender uh, inclusiveness in the standardization process uh, in order to avoid inequalities, discrimination and the exclusion of women and girls from important opportunities and benefits. Thank you very much.